So guys, once again welcome back to Ahoy Navigos. Last video we were discussing about basics of cargo operations and uh, the calculations involved in those operations. We discussed about the properties of liquids and some important terminologies and the properties where the expansion happens due to the temperature change and all. This video we will be discussing about some problems and how can we solve these problems so we are doing cargo numericals today we will discuss first a flow chart on how to proceed to solve your cargo numerical problems first from the question we will be getting max volume allowed to load in question that means for your tank they might say you can load up to 98% or something so that's max volume allowed to load in question that's also called as gross observed volume <coughs> we already discussed what is gross observed volume as a volume including the liquid alone inside a tank if it's having some sediments or water we call it as tov total observed volume so this is gov gross observed volume if you know that value and if you multiply that with volume correction factor at max temperature this is very important in every type of problem there will be given the max expected temperature in a voyage so we use that temperature and the density will be given in the question to obtain vcf as we discussed in last video if you don't know how to obtain vcf you can go to that video see that get to know about how to obtain vcf come back and listen to this video so after you apply gov into vcf what we get is standard volume at 15 degrees celsius this is also called as GSV, gross standard volume. So this also we discussed in our video, what is the definition for GSV? That is the volume at 15 degrees Celsius. Also, now this is the main center of our problem. Every problem you need to find the standard volume from which you can find every answer for your other answers for your question. So if you divide the standard volume with vcf of any temperature required like for example you started with 25 degrees celsius you obtained volume at 15 degrees celsius and you divide the vcf of suppose you need to find the volume at 40 degrees celsius you can find vcf at 40 for the same density you divide it with the standard volume what you obtain is volume required for that temperature that's also in meter cube this is volume at that temperature, that specific temperature, what you want. Also, when you're asked to find mass, standard volume into density at 15 degrees Celsius air. So in most of the question, the density will be given as 15 degrees Celsius vacuum. So we need to know how to convert this vacuum into air. For that, we have an equation. Density at 15 degrees Celsius air is equal to density at vacuum 15 degrees Celsius minus 0.0011. If you do this, you can obtain 15 degrees Celsius air density. And if you multiply that with GSV, what you find is mass of liquid loaded in tons. So this is our flowchart to proceed to solve the problem. Also, when you're asked to find the LH in the question, to find LH, that's nothing but total height minus volume at that temperature divided by length into breadth of the tank. So you will get the height of liquid for solving this fine volume and temperature and the temperature volume divided by length into breadth you will get sounding of the liquid and if you minus that from total height you will get LH that's a free space so now let's consider a problem we have a type of question rectangular tank 35 into 21 into 16 is to be loaded with crude oil at a temperature of 25 degrees celsius it is desired to leave 3 percent of tank volume for expansion calculate the quantity of oil loaded final LH at load port if LH point is 1 meter above deck, also calculate LH when temperature rises to 44 degrees Celsius, density of oil in vacuum is given. This bracket V indicates vacuum, 0.8475. So let's see how we proceed for the problem. So this is our tank. Let's draw a figure of the tank first. We have dimensions 35 length, 21 breadth, 16 height. As we know the volume of tank. So also we have an LH pipe of 1 meter height. We know the volume of tank is divided into two things volume of oil plus volume of LH. So we can say 
टोटल वॉल्यूम ऑफ टैंक इज इक्वल टू वॉल्यूम ऑफ ऑयल प्लस वॉल्यूम ऑफ एल एच ऑल्सो इन क्वेश्चन द वॉल्यूम ऑफ एल एज इज गिवन एस इट इज थ्री परसेंट ऑफ वॉल्यूम ऑफ टैंक सो वी कैन फाइंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ टैंक फ्रॉम इट्स ए रेक्टेंगुलर टैंक सो वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई थर्टी फाइव इंटू ट्वेंटी वन इंटू सिक्सटीन टू ऑप्टेन वॉल्यूम ऑफ टैंक सो वी ऑप्टेन वॉल्यूम ऑफ टैंक एस थर्टी फाइव इंटू ट्वेंटी वन इंटू सिक्सटीन वन वन सेवन सिक्स जीरो मीटर क्यूब एंड एल एज इज थ्री परसेंट वॉल्यूम ऑफ टैंक दैर इज थ्री परसेंट ऑफ वन वन सेवन सिक्स जीरो दैर इज थ्री फिफ्टी टू पॉइंट एट मीटर क्यूब नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ ऑयल फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन इफ यू कैन सब्सटीट्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ वॉल्यूम ऑफ टैंक एंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ एल एज यू कैन फाइंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ ऑयल इज वॉल्यूम ऑफ ऑयल इज इक्वल टू वॉल्यूम ऑफ टैंक माइनस वॉल्यूम ऑफ एल एज यू कैन फाइंड फ्रॉम द फिगर ऑल्सो वॉल्यूम ऑफ ऑयल इज इक्वल टू वॉल्यूम ऑफ टैंक माइनस वॉल्यूम ऑफ एल एज दैट वन वन सेवन सिक्स जीरो माइनस थ्री फाइव टू पॉइंट एट वन वन फोर जीरो सेवन पॉइंट टू मीटर क्यूब नाउ इन द क्वेश्चन एस आई सेड ओरियर द विल बी मैक्स टेम्परेचर एक्सपेक्टेड ड्यूरिंग वॉइज बट इन दिस क्वेश्चन देर इज नो मैक्स टेम्परेचर एक्सपेक्टेड सो सिंस देर इज नो एक्सपेक्टेड मैक्स टेम्परेचर वी टेक वॉल्यूम एस वॉल्यूम एट लोड पोर्ट सो दिस विल बी द वॉल्यूम दैट यू विल बी लोडिंग एट योर लोड पोर्ट बिकॉज दैट्स द अमाउंट यूर एबल टू लोड बाय लोविंग टू परसेंट वॉल्यूम ऑफ एल एच थ्री परसेंट वॉल्यूम ऑफ एल एच फॉर द टैंक सो फ्रॉम दिस नाउ नेक्स्ट थिंग वी नीड टू फाइंड जी एस वी वेन वी लुक इन टू आवर फ्लो चार्ट वी फाउंड द मैक्सिमम वॉल्यूम अलाउड जी ओ वी नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड जी एस वी फॉर दैट वी नीड टू फाइंड वी सी एफ एट मैक्स टेम्परेचर ही वी सेट मैक्स टेम्परेचर इज सेम एस लोड पोर्ट टेम्परेचर सो लोड पोर्ट टेम्परेचर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सो जी एस वी इज इक्वल टू जी ओ वी इन टू वी सी एफ ट्वेंटी फाइव फ्रॉम द एस टी एम टेबल वी ऑप्टेन वी सी एफ ट्वेंटी फाइव इज इक्वल टू जीरो GSV will be one one four zero seven point two into zero point nine nine one nine. Multiplying these both, GOV into VCF twenty five, we get the value of GSV as one one three one four point eight meter cube. So that's the value for your GSV standard volume. Now in the question, we are asked to find calculate the quantity of oil loaded. Also, second thing is final allage at load port. And one more thing, we are asked to find that is calculate allage when temperature rises to forty four degrees Celsius. We discussed in first video. When the temperature rises, what happens to volume is volume also rises. That's so. Volume is directly proportional to temperature. So let's see how we do with this. We need to find three things. First thing, what we need to find is quantity of oil loaded. So as we discussed in the flow chart, to find the mass of lo liquid loaded, we need to know GSV also density at 15 degrees Celsius air. So to find density at 15 degrees Celsius air. We have equation density of oil at 15 degrees Celsius vacuum minus 0.0011. Density of oil at 15 degrees Celsius in vacuum is given in question that 0.8475 minus 0.0011. You get the value as 8464. Also, GSV already found in the question, so we can find quantity of oil loaded as GSV into density of oil in air, 15 degrees Celsius. That's 11314.8 into 0.8464. Answer is 9576.8 tons. So that's the quantity of oil loaded second thing what we need to find is allage at load port as we discussed in first flow chart to find the allage we need to know total height that's given in the question volume at that temperature since it's asked to find allage at load port we need to find volume at load port and we already found divided by length into breadth in the previous thing we already found the volume at load port that's 11407.2 since there is no maximum temperature that's the temperature at which you will be loading by allowing 3 percentage volume of allage so when we substitute the values total height of tank is 16 meters minus volume at load port is 11407.2 divided by breadth into length is 35 into 21 so you get the value as 16 minus 15.52 That's zero point four eight zero meters. Also, in question, you it said that you have an allage pipe of one meter. So our total allage will be allage plus height of allage pipe. That's one plus zero point four eight zero. That's one point four eight zero meters. Now, third thing, one we need to find is we need to find allage when temperature rises to forty one degrees Celsius. As I said, when the temperature is rising, volume also increases. So from the flow chart. We need to find volume required at any other temperature. What we need to do is standard volume divided by VCF of that temperature. Here we are asked to find volume at 44 degrees Celsius. So we need to find VCF 
44 from ASTM table. So we find LH at 44 degrees Celsius will be total height of tank, similar equation as before, volume at 44 degrees Celsius divided by length into breadth of tank. So volume at 44 degrees Celsius is equal to GSV divided by VCF 44. And from ASTM table we obtained VCF 44 as 0 0.97665. That's how we discussed before how to obtain VCF from ASTM table. So when we have the value of VCF 44 and we know the GSV we already found in the question, we'll get the value of the volume at 44 degrees Celsius that's 11314.8 divided by 0 0.97665 will be 11585.317 so now we have the value of volume at 44 so we can find LH at 44 degrees Celsius that's total height of tank 16 meters minus volume at 44 is found 11585.317 divided by length into breadth so the answer will be 16 minus 11585.317 divided by 30 into 21 0 0.283 meters 238 meters and we know we have LH pipe 1 meter so adding that we get 1 plus 0 0.283238 the answer is 1.238 meters so we obtained all the answers for three questions so guys this is how we follow flow chart and obtain the answers for every question in cargo numericals stay tuned to ahoy navigos we'll be coming with more types of problems of cargo numericals stay tuned thanks for watching this is ahoy navigos signing off thank you